Here. Ooh, oh, nice. Wow. This is impressive, Shane. How are we doing today? Robert Zaba, auctioneer extraordinaire with Second Sense Auctions. I'm here with sh -sh 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 Shane, Silent Shane. Tell everybody how you doing today, Shane. I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. We've been setting up auctions. Come in here. We got tons and tons of boxes still to go through. Who knows what else we're going to find? I can't wait. And I mean, first thing I see is right here. Take a look at this. Vintage goodness right here. Got the electric football, and the key with these is whether or not all the pieces are in there. So let's take a look. It sounds like there's a bunch of pieces in there. Oh man, it's like stuck in there, Shane. I don't want to come out, so we're gonna have to just try to lift up on the box right about there. There it goes. We got it. We got it coming. Wow. Man, did you ever play electric football, Shane? No. This wasn't you when you were a kid? It looks like you, Shane. Let's see the date on here. I don't know. Man, this thing is really lost and stuck in there. There it is. Whoa, look at all the pieces. Oh, look at something. Look at There's one of the kickers still on the original thing. So we definitely got pieces in here. And the guys that go on here, you know the concept of electric football, Shane? No. You put the guys on here, and you turn this on, and this whole board vibrates. And they just go randomly in different directions. Really makes no sense. But Magic Mike, was electric football one of your favorites when you were a kid? I never had He never had electric football. He was a deprived child. But what are you going to do? Man. Got to grab more and more boxes. Why are you laughing over there? You don't think you were deprived? Oh wow, this one, speak of which, this is just loaded with vintage games. First one I see is what you're in right now, Shane. Trouble! That's right. This is an old one there though, look at this. Oh, look at that. 1965. <gasps> That's what my face looks like. Trouble, look at that old game board in there. You ever play Trouble, Shane? Yes. Wow. So you know how to play the game. Oh man, let's see what other old games. Here you go. It's like walkie talkies for babies. I'm just joking, Sean. <laughs> Liars dice? I have no clue about that. Never played it. Oh everyone can use more light bright pieces. And these are brand new, sealed, old stock. And this is worth money right here, Shane. Then you got all the different colors. Did you ever have a light bright? Grab four, man. Everybody out there, do you think Shane should get a light bright? Let us know in the comments. Family of the future. Unique, fun-filled word game. Fashioned for the family of the future. Developed by verbal abilities, comprehension, pronunciation, and vocabulary. What do you think, Shane? You ever play that game? No. If you would have said yes, I would have died. Why? Oh, what is this? Kung Fu Gorillas? You ever play this game? It's like, wanna be Donkey Kong? I don't even know. You ever hear of this, Shane? Never heard of it. Wow. Look, it says daytime mode, toilet, huddle, fishing, study, weight training, Kung Fu. Unbelievable. You just never know what you're going to find. Right here. What everyone needs. The rhinestone and stud setter by Ron Cone. If you want to make your clothes bedazzled, second sense, we could bedazzle a little second sense action. You know what I'm saying out there, Shane? Who knows? And I know you played Uno. Of course. This is deluxe Uno, Shane. 1978. 
42 years old. Look at that dust on there. You just never know what we're going to find. We got so much more to go through. All these vintage games, vintage football, awesome stuff. I can't wait to see what else we find. Keep watching. Silent Shane and I and, well, Magic Mike and Chachi, they're actually doing work. We're just messing around. So. All right, we got some more boxes. Let's see what we can find. We found a bunch of vintage games. Which box, Shane? You pick. Um, the far, far left one. Far left? Sure, that one oh, works. Your left. My left. Okay, I don't know, you know. This one? Yes. You sure? Woo! I like it. I like you so far, Shane. There's something down there I think that looks cool, but we're gonna start with this girl. We got a bag here, see what's in the bag. We got a, an angel. Oh, it's like a water thing you put in your garden, tells you how much rain you got. Okay. You got something, Shane. Shane, Shane, Shane. What do you think? Oh, wow. The Grand Casino shot glass. Everyone's got to get a, a souvenir and they go somewhere. They got a couple different ones. Shots, he collects shot glasses. What do you think of this, Shane? Jewelry. I hope so, but I don't think so. Ooh. Could be jewelry. Just yep. put it on a string. Shane found Jesus. That's good. Two of them. On the crucifix. So I do not know what that was. That's for sure. This is the whole box of Shane. That's like, who knows what's in here? Yeah. There's a Hawaiian Islands lighter. Cleveland, Ohio, little mug. Looks like all kind of little brand new tchotchke stuff, Hawaii stuff. I'm assuming this is when they went to Hawaii trip. Foldable straw hat, brand new in the box. Hawaii co coaster, so this is their whole trip to Hawaii in a box. Some of these spoons could be sterling silver, but this one is not. I could just tell by look, they paid $3.50 for it back in the day. This says Japan. I'm assuming it's like going to be a bell or something. Let's see. I don't know. Just a little tiny ribbon. Hawaiian spice tea. Ginger. There's a box down here that looks interesting. This is the one I want to see. Oh, what's this first? This is real heavy. Oh. Look at those vintage ashtrays. Brand new old stock. Aloha Hawaii. Metal ashtrays. That box is oh, that's what it is. A Hawaiian thermometer with a little guy on there. It looks cool on the picture. Let's see if it's as cool as it looks on the box. Ah, baby. And the thermometer must be missing. Hold on, I see this. There's some screws. Oh, I guess it's just three goes in there. It looks like a thermometer on the box, but this one doesn't have the thermometer. Instead, it has three things for. <laughs> that's funny. So yeah, this is the Hawaiian, oh. oh, shell jewelry. Look at that, Shane. All the shell necklaces. So you got a Cleveland mug and a bunch of Hawaiian stuff. But man, this is what I saw originally that I thought was cool. And now it makes sense. It's probably some Hawaiian little tchotchke purse or Box, just more. Oh. Now that is cool. You know who that is, right? King Kamishio? Doesn't ring a bell. Come on, man. I mean, oh, sorry. I read the tag on the back. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. It's a little wood car piece. Brand new little Hawaiian blanket, it looks like. More salt and pepper shakers. <clears throat> What the heck is this? This feels interesting. Feels interesting. Fifteen year old association and I think it might just be some kind of certificate. 
following the blessings are bestowed. <clears throat> so, some paperwork. Interesting box. Still got three more boxes to go. We'll see what else we can find. We found all this cool Hawaiian stuff. And the king. Shane found Jesus. So, hey, who knows what else we're going to find. Keep watching. I can't wait. Three more boxes to go. All right. We found all that vintage Hawaiian trip stuff. Let's go through this box next. I see uh, paper. Wrapping stuff. Ooh. So we got some kind of china in here, Shane. Put the name on the bottom. English Golden Fine China Made in Japan. You got English China Made in Japan. If that makes any sense to you. So, let's say we got more pieces down here. All these big platters like this. And they keep getting bigger as it goes down. So, definitely money in that box. And we got this little box here. Oh, I thought it was going to match that stuff, but no. Look at it's dirty, though. Ew. Hoop wraps dirty. They, don't, they never wash the bottoms. <clears throat> don't you know there's two sides of a plate? Do you just wash the top, Shane? Nope. I wash them both. All right. I hope so. There's tops and bottoms. So this whole thing looks like it's all of this Gibson. China. It's a nice little pattern on there. Very modern looking. So I'll we'll sell the whole box. The whole, whole box. All purpose hexagon. Three piece little box here. A little jewelry box. Alright, Shane. Well, we got this box locked on the table. Let's see what's in here. Woo! Nice! Wow. This is impressive, Shane. I'm going to pull this out first. Look at this. See how old that is? See that style? This is like Art Deco style. My guess, 1920s. Maybe 30s. Wow. Here's another one. So these are the shades. And these shades... Man. If you break one of those, you'll never replace it. Where are you going to find one like that? Walmart. So there's another one in here. Another one. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. That's this whole piece right there. Hang on a second. Woo! Outside. Nice. It's old porcelain. And then this thing in here, Shane. Oh, Look at this. This goes up in the top part. This is going to hang from the ceiling. And this is what's going to hang off of that. Now watch this, Shane. These will go on. I don't want to break them off, but look at that. Unbelievable. So cool. Wow. So, so cool. Let's look at this newspaper, Shane. What year is it? It looks old. It's older than you. 1994. Way older than me. Got a couple cool things in here. <clears throat> it's like some kind of molding, piece of trim or something. It says on the back, ornamental product, Cleveland, Ohio. Chandelier, I mean, it's just unbelievable piece of this thing. You don't see pieces like that. What's in here? Oh! Look at that. Look at that. I mean, 
you see how decorative this, or you know, ornate. Everything back then was made with care. People loved what they did. I mean, just look at this. This is a true antique piece. And someone back in the day was asking five bucks. I'll get way more than five. I mean, that looks so great from the ceiling. Oh man, look at that. You have this like awesome paint. It's got this nice like little oil sheen light to it. What do you think, Shane? So that's probably like 1920s, 1930s. Old piece, old lighting. And in this neighborhood, there's a lot of old houses people are already doing. So once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Don't forget, you can bid on stuff. www.secondsense. We'll see. Might find some more stuff. Keep watching. All right, still a few more boxes to go through. Let's see what else we got. Let's start right here. What? <laughs> Pumpkinware. Not sure what this is. It says a scarecrow small. Let's take a look at this. It had a $10 price tag on it. Oh, there's his arm. Oh. So I guess you put him in something. In the pumpkin. In the pumpkin? Mm -hmm. I got you now. <clears throat> so pumpkin wear. So you got little outfits for the pumpkins. Nice. What else we got here? Oh my gosh. It's a large cat. I never seen these before. Have you seen these before, Shane? Never. Never even like walking around the street during Halloween. I thought maybe you were hip to this. <clears throat> no. I guess these are here's a pair of eyes for the pumpkins. Instead of carving the pumpkin, you just put, I guess these are like ears. You just dress the pumpkin. Just dress the pumpkin up. Sounds like for lazy people. Chachi, you got some pumpkin wear, man? No. He says no. You carve your pumpkin, Chachi? Large scarecrow. Oh my gosh. This one's got... Put the pumpkin right on there. Oh man. Oh, dude, I never seen this before. My, and there's a whole line of so there's all different ones and who knows? I guess you could have a little pumpkin cat or scarecrow or a pumpkin chachi. Why are you laughing, Chachi? They might make a pumpkin chachi one day. You could put on ch chachi hair and chachi eyes. Chachi smile. Look at his smile. Someone said, is there really a Chachi? Or is that just you behind the camera, Rob, with your great voice going, yeah, this is Chachi. I can't even do a Chachi. What we got here? What the? Oh, it's stuck in there. I'm not going to grab it out yet. Let's grab this out first. Oh, nice. Says so some kind of Pilsner Brewing Company, Cleveland, Ohio. So it's an old look at you can just tell by the color of the bottle how old this is and a hand blown glass there, man. What else we got in here? Ooh, look at that one. Some kind of weird like fish symbol or something. I don't know. C S B a horseshoe. I don't know. Some of these bottles, they can be extremely valuable because there's some out there that are extremely rare. So you just gotta be careful. You gotta do your research on that kind of stuff. When you get old glass, old bottles like this. Right here it says Orangina. Pulp A de Fruit. And a lot of people like to use these for decoration, decorative bottles. They hang them up, put them around on their little shelves. Oh, look at that. Got a little mason jar. And this is a bicentennial mason jar. Look at it, 1776 to 1976. So they made bicentennial everything. That's what I found out in this business. I found everything you could imagine from underwear all the way up. Oh. So look at, someone was in the process of painting. See, they would paint where you could see all the, they call those embossed lettering right here, the raised lettering. So they, someone was actually hand painting all that, look at that. And they stopped right there on the three. 
What happened? Someone rang the doorbell, they get an important phone call. What happened? Why did they stop? They're that close to being done. Shane, file through. File through. More blue mason jars. Once again, I always look for the number 13. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, look at this one. It says, enjoy refresh with crystal dairy, milk, and ice cream. Man, that's just, look at, white and D, look how old this is. Look at this dust on there, Shane. This dust is older than you. Wow. You're probably right. Wow. Oh, this is the thing I was, showing, I was excited about when I first saw it. The Great American Jelly Bean Machine. I could just had some jelly beans. Just had some jelly beans. It's a very cool piece. And uh, who doesn't like jelly beans? Shane? I like jelly beans. What's your favorite jelly beans? I don't know, just not the bean boozled ones, that's for sure. You like jelly belly? We got another mason jar. Two more things in here, let's see what else we got. Another old bottle right there. Sunnybrook Dairy. See, this one has nice graphics on it. It has like the little cow right here with the sun coming up. So that's a nice one. Once again, he might have painted all that. Last one, Shane. What we got? No. Oh, look at that. Some crazy symbol on there. So, old bottles. Alright, let's see what we got in this box, Shane. Oh, what the heck? It said wine glasses. Wait, it said glass, wine glass, right? I don't think it's gonna have some kind of wine glass or something. I don't even, I don't even see a wine glass. I see a lampshade thing. Oh, there's the wine glasses. Wow. It's already bubbly. You don't even got to put champagne in it. It's already got bubbles. So there's six of those down there. Oh, these are the peanuts you can eat, Shane. Here, try one. What? I'm not lying. They're really just made of cornstarch. You can actually eat them, Shane. Got like a little glass thing. Oh! <laughs> you know what that is? The Oscar Miner Wiener Mobile. Why you look lost? Do you not know about this famous vehicle that drives around the country that nope. looks like a giant hot dog coming down the road at 80 miles per hour, Shane? I do now. Magic Mike. He doesn't know about the Oscar Miner Wiener Mobile. This kid hasn't lived. Shelter life. Down here. Didn't you know Chachi used to drive the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile across the country? Now he's working here. <laughs> That's why he don't drive no more. He's sick of driving. Look at this in this little. Little music box. Man, we got some uh, little vocal. Printers by Union. It looks like some more glass on there. Little cracks and stuff, so. Huh. One more box to go. Let's see what we got here. You ready? Whoa! Yes! Finally, something good here. Something I like. Take a look at this. See what that says? Budweiser. Budweiser. Now this goes on like this. This is a little wall sconce. So we'll have to put it all back together there. But this goes on like that. You screw this to the wall. You got your little Budweiser light. Look at it. You got the little king of bears there. And then, look at this. You got the milk glass lamp. You got the candle wick base down here. Very cool. Vintage goodness. And, you know, beer memorabilia always sells. We got vintage games, all kind of great stuff. Who knows what else we're going to find. 
Still got tons and tons and tons of boxes left. Once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for to subscribe? You got Magic Mike. You got Chichi Chachi, the paparazzi. You got Joe back there somewhere. You got Silent Shane. You got Tiny Tim. You got Auctioneer Extraordinary. Who knows who else is going to show up? So appreciate everybody out there watching. Don't forget, best thing about it, you can bid on items, www.secondsense.com, www.secondsense.com. Thank you all for watching.